you're new here, my name is Alyssa. Today we are celebrating all things pie and I'm gonna show you how to make two delicious gluten-free pie recipes. One of them is gluten-free and vegan and the other is gluten-free and dairy-free. And they are two classics that are lightened up, they're delicious, they're healthy, they're easy to make, and I think you're gonna love them. So if you are watching this while it is live or when it goes live, then we are currently celebrating Thanksgiving week here on the YouTube channel as well as on the blog, and you can find these recipes down in the description box. I've linked them for you and they are up on the blog for you. So the two pies that we are making today is a gluten-free and dairy-free pumpkin pie. And then we're also gonna make a gluten-free and vegan apple pie. But instead of the double crust, we are doing a crumb topping. So it's an apple crumb pie, or also known as a Dutch apple pie. It's delicious. I find that it's easier to make. It marries two of my favorite desserts, apple pie and apple crisp and it's really easy to make vegan. So I'm excited about both of them. And if you are looking for a gluten-free and vegan pumpkin pie, I shared that recipe last year, so I'll link that down below for you. Otherwise, before we dive in, I would love for you to subscribe. If you are new around here, you can tap the red button that is right below this video that says subscribe, and that will be it. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started and start making our pies. All right, so we are going to start with the pumpkin pie. We're going to make the crust first, which is a base of almond flour, as well as some arrowroot starch, a little bit of sea salt. And then while the food processor is running, we're going to add in olive oil, as well as a flax egg. And you can just continue to pulse this or blitz it together until a dough forms. And the dough should be sticky enough to kind of press between your hands and it should kind of hold its shape. From there, you will dump the contents of your food processor into a greased pie dish. And this is an older video, same crust. I just lost footage for this new one, but still the same process. You're gonna press the dough into the pie dish and push it up the sides. Make sure that it's as even as you can get. And then you can, if you want, crimp the sides so that you have that kind of quote unquote classic pie look. From there, you will put your dish aside rinse out your food processor bowl, put that back on the base, and we're gonna make the filling directly in the food processor as well. So we're gonna add pumpkin into there, and it's gonna be a whole can of pumpkin. We're also gonna use full fat coconut milk, as well as coconut sugar, pumpkin pie spice, and two eggs. You also could do a little bit of vanilla if you wanted, and I would also say a pinch of sea salt would also be good. Pop the lid on, blend it up until it is smooth and creamy, and that is your filling. So you'll just pour the filling into the pie shell and carefully, because it's quite full, carefully remove it from your work surface and place it in a 425 degree oven. Bake it for 15 minutes at 425, and then you will reduce the heat to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and cook it for another 45 to 55 minutes. You're looking for the center to be just a tiny bit jiggly and the outer edges to be mostly firm. And if it does start to brown too quickly, you can put a pie shield over the crust or you can tent it with foil. You will then let the pie cool completely before you slice it up, but once you do, you can slice it up into your slices and serve it up. You can serve it plain, or if you wanna get it a little bit fancy like I did, I did a dollop of coconut yogurt, I sprinkled it with some pecans, and then I finished with a sprinkle of pumpkin pie spice. And this is hands down my favorite pumpkin pie on the planet, so easy, so delicious, and you'd never know that it was gluten and dairy free. So we're actually gonna start with the crumb topping first, and we have oats as well as almond flour and gluten-free flour in a bowl, stir that together. To that, you can add in coconut oil and maple syrup, stir that together, and that is your crumb topping. So set that aside. And then we'll move on to our apples. So the first thing is you're gonna need to peel and slice all your apples. So I'm gonna just show you with one. I'm not gonna peel all of them because it's a lot. It's about 10 apples, but peel them and then you will cut them around the core and slice them. I try to keep them kind of thick slices, maybe like an, an eighth of an inch so that they still retain their shape once they're cooked. And you can just repeat with the rest of the apples. Once you have all of your apples cut, you will transfer them into a bowl. Drizzle them with some lemon juice, give that a stir, and then you'll also add in your coconut sugar, your arrowroot powder, your vanilla, and your cinnamon, and then stir that together and set it aside. Finally, we'll make the crust. Again, we're gonna do this in a food processor. We're gonna add gluten-free flour, and I'll link the one that I used down below, as well as a pinch of sea salt. 
as well as one stick of vegan butter. Make sure that you are using the stick, not the kind that comes in a tub because that just isn't going to work. you got to use the stick and as cold as possible. Then you can pulse this together until it forms a kind of sandy texture and then you'll stream in a quarter cup of cold water. Pulse that together and then you'll stream in two more tablespoons of water and at this point it should hold together into a pliable dough. So we'll transfer the dough onto a work surface, shape it into a ball, and put a piece of parchment paper on either side of that dough and roll it out. So we are gonna just use like a rolling pin, just like you would a regular pie dough, roll it out. The dough should be pretty pliable if you use a flour that has a gum in it, so make sure that you're checking that. And then you will roll it until it's about an eighth of an inch thick. From there, we will remove one piece of the parchment paper and we will flip the crust on top of a greased pie dish. So kind of like press the crust into the corners and the edges of the pie dish, remove that extra top of parchment paper, and then you will kind of press it around. You can kind of crimp the edges at the top to make that nice, beautiful crust, and then you can use your fingers to do that classic crimping on the edges. Once you have your crust all set, you are going to put in your apples and you're just going to dump them all in, fill it up as much as possible, and then kind of spread it out so that they're evenly in there and then finish it off with your crumb topping and again, just sprinkle it on top. And then we will bake this at 350 degrees for a good 55 to 60 minutes. You're looking for the top to be golden brown. You're looking for the crust to be golden brown and kind of not hard, but like crispy, I guess. And you also want to hear bubbling in that apple filling. That's how you know it's done. You can remove it from the oven and let it cool for a few minutes and then you can slice it up and enjoy. It's so yummy. It's like the blend of apple pie and apple crisp, ultimate dessert. And it's awesome with vegan vanilla ice cream on top. So definitely go for a scoop of vegan vanilla to top it off. Apple pie a la mode is the best. You could also do a drizzle of maple syrup if you wanted, but such a good option and gluten-free and vegan. And there you have it, my friends. That is how to make gluten-free pie two different ways. Perfect for Thanksgiving, perfect for any pie lover. And also they are delicious and healthy and easy to make. So I hope you do give them a try. If you are watching this in 2020, then I'm sure you know that Thanksgiving 2020 is a little bit different this year. Ours is gonna be really small. I'm sure everybody else's is gonna be pretty small too. But that doesn't mean that you still can't make your classics. You can just kind of scale them down. Maybe it's one pie instead of four pies or two pies instead of four pies. These are both delicious. And like I said, they're pretty easy to make. So I'm really excited about it. And if you do want to make a gluten-free and vegan pumpkin pie, I shared that recipe last year. So I will link that down below for you. And then these two pies, the gluten-free dairy-free pumpkin pie and our gluten-free vegan apple crumb pie, those ones are new on the blog, so those will be linked down in the description box for you, and they'll take you over to the blog post, which has all of the instructions, ingredient list, and everything you need to know to make them. So happy Thanksgiving, happy holidays. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe before you go. There's a red button right below this video that says subscribe. Just tap that button, and that will subscribe you. Otherwise, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Thank you, as always, for being here and carving out a little bit of time today to spend with me here on YouTube. It means the world to me. I really appreciate you tuning in and watching my videos, and it just is so great to have you. So I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.